Welcome. How to create a view only rule in Oracle Cloud? View only rule is specific for either external audits or internal audits or any other specific users to only view the transactions, payments without any make transactions, without other actions like adjustments, transfer, etc. The same steps I will make in this video, you can follow the same for any other modules in Oracle Cloud. And by the end, it depends on the business requirement. For example, in this example, I will show you a custom view only rule in Oracle Cloud variables for access for only payment and invoices. Maybe in your organization or on your business case you have to create two custom rules one custom rule for view only invoices and the other custom rule for view only payment and so on so let's get into the application to show you how to create view only rule once you log into the oracle you have to navigate to security console from tools security console so first you have to create a custom rule so just click create rule enter custom rule name custom payables invoice view only the rule code custom payables invoice view only the rule categories financial job rules here it must be alphanumeric and with underscore so let me click next scroll until to rule hierarchy next next in the rule hierarchy you will add a duty rule for aura underscore ab underscore payables underscore invoice underscore inquiry duty so add a rule search here as i said for aura underscore ab underscore payables underscore invoice underscore inquiry Let me put underscore here. This one aura underscore AB payable invoice inquiry duty. Add role membership. Close this window. Then you have to come back to the data security policy. For the data security policy, you have to assign for security policy. First, I will tell you one by one. So, come back to data security policy. Create data security policy. First one, you have to enter the business unit. I will put custom business unit. The data source will be business unit. business unit okay after that the data set will be data set or selected by an instance set then the condition name will be access the business unit for which the user is accessibility authorized then the actions there are two actions a lot of actions here as I told you before, I will select manage payables invoice and manage payment here, manage payable invoice and manage payment by business unit. Go down, manage, manage, manage.
Help me, Lord. Manage payment by business unit. Then click OK. Start it and date. This is up to you. It will be OK if you select the uh, today or system date. Again, I will create three more. Here it will be custom subledger accounting. The name, as you know, it up to you or up to the business. The data resource subledger accounting ledger. Subledger accounting ledger. Okay. Here is again select by an instance set. The condition name will be access ledgers associated by business unit. Sorry. Access ledgers associated by business unit. The actions or privilege will manage ledger for subledger debt. Manage ledger for some ledger debt. Here again, sort date and end date and policy description. Click OK. Add two more for subledger application. Data resource will be subledger application. Click OK. Start date and end date. Again, select by an instance set. Here, the condition subledger application an instance set. Parameter you will enter the 200. This is for Oracle payables as ID. Then the actions only manage subledger application data. Click OK. Number four and the last one will be for subledger source transactions. Custom subledger source transaction. Again, data rule or resource subledger source transaction. Click OK, start date and date, select by an instance set. Condition name will be access subledger source transaction for a business unit. Access subledger source transactions for a business unit. Parameter again 200. Here also only one manage subledger source transaction data. OK. Now Custom rule is finished. You scroll to role hierarchy, assign the duty rule for the Oracle payables, invoice or view invoice or inquiry only as a duty rule. Then come back to the data security policy to assign for one for business unit, one for subledger accounting ledger, subledger application, subledger source transactions. Again, go to next. Next, from here you can add it to any existing user, but because I don't have any existing user, so I will create a new one and assign this rule to these users. After that, I will make a manage data access for the user. So click next, custom payable invoice view only, save and close. Now I will create a new user. In the same page, go to users, add user account, username, test dot user, test user, test user here user at gmail dot com password.
username user dot test save and close here you can add a rule before save and close custom payable invoice view only which we already created recently add rule membership done save and close maintenance manage data access for user manage data access for users again click new create select the user what is the rule custom variables security context business unit what is the business unit select your business unit save and close done so I create custom rule I add the rule to either the existing user or to a new user. For the new user, you have to make manage data access set or data access for users. After that, you have to test to log out from these users. So I will log out from my user and log in by the new user to check or test the new rule. Here you will find variables. Once you click on variables tab, you will find invoice and the payment. If you click on invoices, to check the privilege, go to tasks, you will find manage invoices and review journal entries. I clicked on manage invoices you have to search only by specific business users and for example invoice number at least three character one two three if I click on this invoice number here you have only Check fund request override. If you try to request the action is, is not applicable for the invoice in the current state. If you try to check fund again, if you count coding or request override, it will be also is not available. This has a view only for the invoice. The same for the payment. If you come back to the home page and go to payment or again from home page you will find manage only there is no create or any other actions like adjustment transfer and so on I hope now that you got overview of how to create a view only rule and also you can follow the same for any other modules in Oracle Cloud. Thanks for watching. If you like my contact content, <laughs> I appreciate to subscribe my channel. Thank you.